What's going on guys, CWG here, welcome to episode 4 of the Olympus Craft SMP. Look at me, I'm in full shiny diamond armor, and that is correct, I do not even have the diamonds achievement. How is this possible? Well, the reason it's been a couple days since you've had an episode is because of this. I have filled the villager trading hall with villagers. That is correct, the grind is finally complete. Well, mostly, we got our leather workers, some farmers, and then we have all the different enchanted books like you'll want mending and they've all been zombified too that's right reduced prices mending only costs one emerald where's our unbreaking guy over here only costs one emerald power five and actually costs 10 emeralds not all of them are down to one but they're definitely cheaper than what they were so yep we have all the different useful enchantments you name it like sharpness looting respiration feather falling I'm actually also trying to get a smite guy because I want to put smite on my axe but I haven't been able to get a smite guy yet and eh, I'll worry about it later. So where have I been getting the villagers from you may ask? Well let's jump into a clip of making a deal with Matrilled. Cool. Matrilled. Yo. I CWG. You villagers. Me frog lights. Me villagers. You frog lights. Frog lights, I villagers, you yes. Ah yes. Here you go. Achievement get. Woo! Oh yes. With oh, our powers celebrate. combined. Oh celebrate yeah. Frog lights. Oh yes. All right. I'll oh, be doing yeah. some transportation. So after the trade with Matrilled, I now had access to all the villagers and have been running them on a track all the way over here. Then I've been running the villagers into here where this guy will zombify them. Then I flick the lever, pushes the villager back into the trading hall. That's how I've been getting all these boys. And now that we have access to all of our different villagers, including this is how we've been getting the diamonds. The toolsmith here gives all the diamond tools. The armor here gives all the diamond armor. And uh, our weaponsmith here gives the diamond sword. That's right, you can get all this diamond stuff fully maxed out without ever getting the diamond achievement. Cause you know, villagers in Minecraft are perfectly balanced, as all things should be. I will say, they're OP, but they're also really annoying to set up. I'm just glad it's finally done. We can finally remove this cobblestone here that we were using so to get the zombie villagers in. And we can kind of, close this zombie off in here and pretend like he's not there you know not, nothing to see in there now where have i been getting all my emeralds from that is a great question i've been getting it from leather you see you just grab a stack of leather go to your leather workers one by one and you can speed run getting a stack of emeralds boom just got a stack of emeralds easy now where have we been getting the leather from Let's jump into a quick time lapse of building a hog farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it a hog farm. Look at me go. It's really easy to make. You just put it down some stuff and the place the torches and wow, look, I'm already done. Yay. And there we go. If we just go north of our portal here, you can see the hog farm. I mean, these things are just so easy to make. And uh, as you can see, uh, it makes a lot of cooked pork chop. We open these chests. Way too much cooked pork chop. It's enough to feed one Minecraft player for like five playthroughs. It's a bit ridiculous, honestly. I know people like to say that these hoglin farms are a bit too OP, but think to yourself, is it really more OP than using villagers to get a full set of diamond armor, diamond tools without ever touching a diamond? I mean, let's be honest here. All farms in Minecraft are kind of OP. That's why we build them. I'm not sure why the hog farm out of all things have been getting so much backlash. But if y'all haven't seen how this works, let me... Fly on top of the AFK platform here, pop into free cam and come down here and yep, you can already see the hogs spotted. They get scared of these mushrooms because you know, uh, hogs don't like mushrooms for some reason. And then they just fall into the lava and their stuff drops into these hoppers. Very simple. So if you guys remember from last episode, there was some warden shenanigans. So let's hop over to spot and see what happened to the wardens because it's, uh, it's pretty funny. So here we are back at spot and oh, I should show you guys how I've been buying other people's stuff in the shopping district. Also, there's a new shop. Look at that giant rainbow sheep. Uh, the way I've been buying stuff, since I cannot touch diamonds from my own shop nor buy stuff from other people's shops with diamonds is CWG tokens. Exchange your CWG tokens for diamonds here. So basically, I have renamed some 
frog lights to CWG tokens. And if I use that to buy people stuff, they'll come to this chest to get the diamonds. For example, ow, this gold shop here, I used a couple CWG tokens to buy a couple stacks of gold to make golden apples. So that's how I'm shopping in the shopping district without ever getting that diamonds achievement. Now the wardens, of course. Let's check out the Thunderdome, you remember, where I won my axe from code. Uh, there's new residents inside the Thunderdome now. Uh-oh. Yeah, there's a warden in there. And not just one warden, there's two wardens! Let's wait for this darkness to wear off. I'll use free camp since I can't really go close to this. There's two wardens in here, here now. We got Walter and Wesley. I just learned another one up here. And with a bit of finagling, we managed to get them into the thunder. So if anyone on the server ever commits a crime or is naughty, they're going to be put into the Thunderdome. And if they don't make it out alive, then, you know, that's just unfortunate. And you know, it is nighttime. Am I able to sleep in the bed before the wardens attack me? Oh, I can't. There's monsters nearby. I can't see anything. Oh, and also, I did a little bit of end raiding. I managed to get a spare elytra in case something bad were to happen to me. And I also got six shulker shells. You know, she shell shulker shells by the seashore. Uh, so that way we can make a three shulker boxes and we can move stuff around a little bit easier. So yeah. I've been a little bit busy, you know, I did some mining, building off camera, the, the typical YouTuber meme, but, you know, people don't really want to see the early game grind. I mean, did you guys really want to see me uh, zombify a million villagers and put them in here? Probably not. Yar, matey. Now, the next farms we're going to need is sugarcane and gunpowder. I have a little bit of sugarcane here at the end, but that's not going to be enough. Uh, these rockets I have are in very short supply. I have some gunpowder in here. Yeah, I got like a stack, but once that gunpowder runs out, I'm kind of out. So I'm going to have to be building a creeper farm and sugarcane farm here real soon. So back in episode one, we got two LAs. And no, I haven't forgotten about them. They're actually in these holes. Look, he's still trying to give me a wooden plank. How cute. All right, but I think I finally have an idea of what to do with these guys. Alays love to play basketball. Just look at him. He's trying to throw his planks and play some basketball. So over there, next to where Sturcat's sussily standing, I'm going to build a basketball court for the Alays where they can play basketball forever. So let's hop into a quick time lapse of building a basketball co court. Court? Yes. Look at that, I'm clearing out some land, we're gonna make a basketball court. You can see the hopper clock below, it's going nuts, so oh, look, Sturcat's helping me place the glass. That's pretty cool, look at the wool, I'm placing it, look at me, it's a basketball hoops, that's cool, and we're done. And we did it, our basketball hoop is complete. Now the next thing I'm gonna have to do is rescue the LA's, finally. LA, come here. Now, I need to set it to our basketballs, which is slime ball and a snowball. So, LA, if you would come out, please. Uh, can I change its block? How do I change its block? Can I not change its block? Oh, there we go. Uh, ah, slime ball now. Cool. Watson's jumping like a fruit loop. I have no idea. Let's see what she wants. Can I help you? May I have string, please? Yes, it's in the Bob Drops chest. Thank you. Anyways, let's grab our other LA here, and where did I, where'd my other lead go? Oh, this is bad. It lost its lead, so I just shift right click it. Ah, uh, that's why I take away the block, and then I give it a slime ball. Okay. Hey, LA's, get over here. Ugh. Hey, snowball LA, come here. Why is it on my roof? Hey, oh, he's coming, he's coming. Where'd he go? Hey, 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 Ah! Got it, okay. These things are pesky beds. Ah, the stupid Elaine! Stop breaking my leads! Alright, now we just gotta bring them into the basketball court. Come on, guys. Come on in. There's one of them, and there's the other. Nice. Take the leads off and block them in. Sweet! Oh, now all I have to do is give them their basketballs for them to play with. I just have to land on top of here with my pro elytra skills. I'm gonna have to be quick. Break a block. Throw in the two things. Close the thing. All right, now they should be playing basketball. Let's see what happens. All right, the note block rings. Oh, look, look at him go. Oh, the LA with the snowball. 
So the way that this works, if I hop into free camp, if we go underneath the court, we got a simple hopper clock and every few seconds it will pulse like that. And then that goes up the redstone torches and it causes the note block to go off. And that's what the LAs use to stay linked to it. And it will try to give the item to the note block and in turn it just plays some basketball. Nice, let's see if he'll land it. Oh, so close there, Allie, so close. Ooh, Alex just made it. Nice one. Now on my first episode, y'all left me some comments with name ideas for the LA. So let me go grab a couple name tags and see what you guys came up with. All right, so we got a comment here for the names Allie and Alex, which I kind of like. Now, name tagging might be a bit tricky because they're a bit squirrely. We got Allie, who is the slime ball one, and we need Alex, the snowball one. Alex, come here. Whoa, there we go. We got Allie and Alex, forever playing basketball. Look, you missed. You can't shoot it through the hoop. That's cheating. Oh, silly Alex. Well, I'll leave them to it. They really do enjoy their basketball. Have fun, Allie and Alex. And with that, we're out of time for today's episode. Sorry that uh, it's a bit of a shorter one, but all this grinding, I just really wanted to get a episode out to y'all today and glad I could. Let me know if your thoughts of this Allie basketball in the comments. I'll catch you guys in the next one. CWG out.